Auckland Grammar has its main motto, Per Angusta Ad Augusta, which means through trials to triumph. At Auckland Grammar, the opportunities are some of the best in New Zealand, sporting-wise and academic-wise. Grammar is actually really friendly and it's kind of one big community that you can be part of. New Zealand is renowned for many things, including its magnificent scenery and its world-class education. Situated in beautiful Auckland City, Auckland Grammar School holds the key to unlocking academic, sporting and cultural potential. A long, rich history of student successes, combined with belief in the value of tradition, makes Auckland Grammar School a leader in boys' education. Academic rigour is of paramount importance to the school. Teaching in the classroom is primary and everything else is secondary. A will to win and playing sport and all of those things are absolutely fantastic, but first and foremost, get a quality academic qualification. Well, it's one of the oldest secondary schools in the country, founded in 1869 by Governor Gray, with some 143 years of, of history. Well, this is my second year at Auckland Grammar, and when you first come into the store, there's a large sense of tradition and culture that sort of hits you, and day-to-day -day life follows what we call the Grammar Way. This is my third year at Auckland Grammar, and what I enjoy is the competitiveness of all the students among each other. Auckland Grammar School attracts, rewards, and retains outstanding teachers. Its academic endowment fund reflects its commitment to its exceptional teaching staff. Auckland Grammar School has a, a very experienced teaching staff. I think what makes Auckland Grammar's teachers really special is that they're so passionate about their subjects that they teach. At Auckland Grammar School we pride ourselves on being the best and I think that's reflected right from the teachers. The academic results of the school are, are outstanding so the school offers now uh, both uh, dual pathways in Cambridge and in our national qualification in CEA. It's a highly competitive place and you always have to keep pushing yourself. New Zealand offers an environment that is ideal for growing boys. The outdoor activities that promote leadership and confidence have been built into the curriculum at Auckland Grammar. The school owns its own venture lodge in uh, Oakuni, which is in the middle of the North Island, Tongariro National Park. Having a lodge in that area brings access to the mountains for climbing and walking, tramping in summer and skiing in the winter. We also run a number of other outdoor education programs, for example one at Motutapu Island where we run some leadership programs. There are a lot of opportunities at Grammar and I think camps for me is one of them. We have a lot of leadership activities that improve your leadership which you will definitely need in the future. No. Our sporting legacy is long and successful, with many of our old boys representing New Zealand at an international level. Our sport teams compete successfully at the national level, winning national titles and confirming our reputation for excellence. College and Sacred Hearts, but Grammar too strong for them for 2012. Grammar offers a huge array of sporting opportunities for, for young men who come into the school. The traditional sports of, uh, of rugby and cricket, where amongst the best teams in the country and those sort of traditional sports. But alongside that, and the tennis and the basketballs and the hockey and the footballs and those sports are a range of other sports such as uh, fencing, uh, mountain biking, uh, cycling, and it happens in a, in a competitive nature. Although that does motivate you to compete with everyone else, it is a team effort. We have a very high reputation and as grammar students we are expected to win. There's just so many teams and so many grades that you're, you're, you're going to get into a good team and it's going to be quality sport. Cultural activities provide students with a window into the world of music, drama, debating and world cultures. From a symphony orchestra to a senior film society, Auckland Grammar School provides students with many rich cultural experiences. 
There is something for everyone in the school. When I first started the grammar, the third form dean told us that the longest lasting friends, the lifelong friends that you'll form at grammar will be in extracurricular and co-curricular groups like sporting and music and cultural groups. And I think that's really true. What we want them to do is to find their passion, find what they're good at, so that again they can maximise their potential and that they'll carry that on later in life. Auckland Grammar caters for homestay students and will recommend responsible guardians for new students. Some 5% of our overall role is uh, dedicated to international students. The international students who come into the school are quite special and they are well looked after. My homestay family here in New Zealand is just fantastic. My homestay family is so friendly, so I, I think I'm very lucky. I really feel I was welcome here because every weekend my homestay parents took me to somewhere to spend our weekend and go for a picnic there. The school also has some accommodation available at its hostel, Tibbs House. Tibbs it's really good. There's always house sports events and swimming sports and house rugby and stuff. Good camaraderie when you go to school. Like saying that you're a Tibbs house boy, you're quite proud about that. Student welfare is a priority, and Auckland Grammar ensures that all activities are in compliance with or exceed international standards. Any international student who comes into Auckland Grammar School would have their English assessed, and then they would be provided with support at their own level through English as a second language program. The teachers are the best. I'm not good at English, but they are very kind to me. My decision to come to New Zealand for study is, is a good decision. Um, not only because Auckland Grammar is a brilliant school, but also my host family is just fantastic. We have young men who uh, have gained direct entry into Harvard and Oxford uh, and Cambridge and universities you know, with uh, significant reputations around the world. When I leave school, I'm probably thinking of something to do with language. I also thought about doing psychology. I want to enter into a research um, scientific or medical field. My dream is to become a doctor. Either to be a doctor or to go into research in that area or both. Right now I have no regrets at all and even if I had the choice to go to the other school I would definitely stay at Grammar. It's, it's, it's really great here. Auckland Grammar School, preparing your boys to become the great men of tomorrow.